This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Pam Price & Associates, Remax Coast & Country. It is perhaps one of the biggest changes you will make in your life. Buying or selling a house is an expensive and a tumultuous process that has its ups and downs. Oh yeah, and right now, as you probably well know, the market is chaotic. As we hear from local real estate broker Pam Price, there are must-dos for both buyers and sellers that might be different than they used to be. Here's Del Marble Life's Katie Zarelli. Today's housing market, so hectic, you can kick curb appeal to the curb. I feel like a lot of people these days are still stuck on the curb appeal and the fresh mulch and the painting of the shutters. And although those are really nice, in this market it's not necessary. There's so many people looking at your house that it, it, it truly doesn't matter to them. They're just so desperate. Local real estate broker Pam Price says sellers should instead be focused on their next move. If you are ready to sell, then you really have to have you know, your plan in place because you have probably 30 to 45 days to pack all your things and find out where you're moving them to. Buyers best be prepared too. You already need to have your pre-approval in place. You need to know exactly how much money you need for closing and to make sure that that is secure as well because you just can't put the closing cost on your purchase these days and think that you are going to be picked as the top first or second offer. Those closing costs are something serious. So your closing cost is your lender's fees, your transfer tax, and your attorney's fees, mm -hmm. if you're a buyer. On top of your year's worth of homeowner's insurance mm -hmm. and your year's worth of taxes, they pull all of that at once and that's all part of your closing cost. So it's a hefty, hefty number. She says in this day and age, some might think skipping an inspection will simplify the process, but she strongly urges against that. We've had clients that take less money if the buyers don't want to do inspections. But then that's also very scary as a buyer um, if you have to put in a new septic a year or two after you move in. There are so many scary things when you think about like a new roof for ten or fifteen thousand dollars depending or thirty. You know it all depends on the size of the house. So if you're buying something without an inspection just to prove that you're going to get this house then it, it's kind of scary for you in the next few years as to what you could already pull out of your pocket that you've already paid top dollar for. Part of how Pam's navigating this perplexing market is putting puzzle pieces together in a way. If I have a listing coming in and I'm already working with a buyer and I'm like, ah, this one is theirs, I bet it is. And they say I'm really good at matching it up and putting it together. And um, usually um, a lot of sellers don't like this market with like having to be inconvenienced with so many people in and out of their house um, for several days, sometimes, you know, a week, they want to hold offers. And so in my mind, those are the important things that you would want to consider. She says when this works, it's a win-win. At that point, you have made two people very happy and they didn't have to Go, go through the dreaded process, as you well know, have been through it of missing house after house after house until you get the, the right one. And I still say that it is, um, you're meant to get the house you have, and if it's not meant to be, that it's not gonna work out easy or at all. So if at the end of the day you do have one that falls apart, I feel like there is a good reason why it wasn't a good fit and there's a better one down the pike. Even in a market that can feel unbelievably unsteady, what won't change is Pam's commitment to you and getting you home. And Pam says she is noticing a number of folks moving in from out of the area because as these last two years have shown us, you can work from anywhere. You can't work from anywhere. We, we've learned <laughs> we know that. that yeah. <laughs>